Welcome to the Craft Cave. This first demonstration is to show you how to use the pieces in the bridge card die to make the basic bridge card shape. As you can see, we pop the shelf up and it folds completely flat. So we're going to rotate now so that you can see how we put this together. So we're going to start the demo by using the pieces of the bridge card die. As you can see, there's quite a lot of pieces that you get in the die, and I'm sure they'll have gone through all of those. But what we're going to need to use is the piece here that cuts you the main card. We're going to need to use the bridge section. We're going to want the shelf, and we're going to want the shelf support. So you need to cut all of those three through, and you'll find these three pieces will fit on a piece of A4 card, that will be from an extra piece or a scrap of card. So I've already cut these pieces ahead of time. So I'm going to bring those in. So here I have my main piece. And as you can see, all of the sections have been embossed where they need to be for the fold lines. I have my shelf section, I have my front section, and I have my support. Okay, I've put a little bit of blue tape on here just to make it a little bit easier for me to glue it together. I would recommend that you use either a wet glue or a red line or the power tape to actually adhere this. Um, you don't want any normal double sided tape because obviously it's going to move. It's a kinetic card. So all I'm going to do is first of all, fold in the first side and just burnish the edge. Fold the second side over and then repeat it on the other side. So we just fold that over, fold that one over, and you can see there, we get a sort of concertina card. And again, you could use that for lots of different things as well. What we need next is our bridge piece. And as you can see here, I've put tape on the two sides. So I'm just going to remove the protective carrier sheet from this, which is always easier said than done. So let's go with a different piece to start with. Get that one off. So we'll take this off, there we go. And I'm going to take it off all sides, so all four areas, or as I said, you could wet glue this, no problems at all. So we take that off. I'm going to then marry up this side, square to the base and the side, and press that down. I'm going to open this out, and I'm going to put the second side again over there like that. So you can see it folds completely flat. And this is your time to just make sure that your folds are right and that you get a nice flat section. Okay, and you can see there we've got the beginnings already. What I'm going to do next is to put my support in for my shelf. So here I've got the support piece. And again, I've already put tape on it. So I'm just going to take this off so that I can get it adhered. And you no notice on this die, it's actually got the score lines in there already, which are here and here. So you've got an easy indication of where to put your tape or your wet glue. So take that off. And I'm just going to fold these two pieces. There we go, one and two to give me my support. Now this needs to go in like this. So if you can see from above, what I'm doing is I'm going to put this in and I want it at the same level as the shelf. So as the bridge piece at the front and I adhere it to each side. So once I'm happy that's in place, fold it again, give it a press and you see that folds flat again. And when it pops up, as you can see, I've got a little support in there. Next, I've got my shelf piece and again, a score line comes across there. So all I'm going to do is take the tape off or again, wet glue this base piece. And this has been designed and the die has been designed so that this piece is smaller than the front so that it fits inside because you don't want it hanging over the front. So again, fold on the fold line. It's quite a clear fold line. And all I do is slide that into there, match the edge stick it down and you can see there fits in nice and tight and sits on top of that support so there is your shelf so that is now rigid and completely fixed we pop that out and it just folds completely flat for posting so all we would do now is to start to decorate it 
and I will do that in another demo.